Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, um, how will I ever get that? Anyways, um, today we're going to be going over my favorite Nerf Blaster from all the series. Now, but first I want to say Happy Easter, and um, my birthday is in like, so like se seven days. I'm going to, on my birthday I'm going to be getting more Nerf guns, so on my birthday I'm going to be making an Arsenal video, a Nerf gun arsenal. And if you are interested in that, my favorite Nerf Blaster is from all the series. My favorite Nerf Strike Elite Blaster is actually the Rapid Strike. But I'll tell you about that at the end. But I'll just hop right in. I'm not doing the I'm not doing the the old end strike because I don't really have any of those blasters since they're so old. My favorite end strike blaster is the Mag Strike. There you go. Um, but anyways, um, let's start off with the Adventure Force and stuff. Um, crap. Hold on. Got a sticky situation. What are we a sticky situation? Um, my favorite Adventure Force blaster is this one. I do not remember this name, but. It's a minigun, it reminds me of the Mastodon. It's twenty dollars, or it takes affordable batteries that people always have. It fires twenty rounds at almost full auto. Sweet. It's really cool. Um Yeah. Anyways, um, let's move on. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Lost my camera stuff. Okay. Um, anyways, oh yeah, that camera. That minigun came close to that and the penetrator here. This is the penetrator. It's a semi auto, it's a sniper. Just 90 feet. Don't believe them. They lying. It just shoot 90 feet. This thing doesn't just 9 feet. It just shoots 9 feet. Mm hmm? I don't to hurry up because I only have 15 minutes because the video so video expansion. Um, my favorite pistol the bow strike. Why? It can do that. And when you shoot it, it deploys. This thing's awesome. It looks pretty cool too. Um, now, my favorite one from the module series, the Battle Scout. Okay, obviously not. It's a recon work, too. Two! But, it comes with a six art magazine. Um, each, it can really carry like eight. I don't know why they lie, but there's one. Uh, this thing. Feels amazing. Like do that, you won't you won't hit your hand when you do that. It's loud, powerful. Also, I even have like a flashlight on the side of it right there. Storage compartment on the front. I'm modding this. I'm gonna. Make a new version of the Recon Mark 2. I'm calling it the Super Ranger. I'm gonna, when I'm done with them, I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm gonna show you it and everything. It'll be coming soon, but 
we come up to it's awesome burn attachment back attachment tactical rail on the side top it's awesome Now, time for my favorite rival blaster. This XP700 or the Apollo. I like it in red. Looks cool. It's a 7 drum. But there's these yellow balls. Don't all rivals. It's small. Tactical on the top for ammo storing. And like the storage part right there. Priming indicator. A lot of people don't like that priming, but like, eh, I'm gonna look with this. Now um, my favorite dirt pig blaster. Should I say dirt pig blaster? No, I should say dirt pig blaster. That's normal to see, right? But anyways, these two little. Um, mo modified tree DX blasters. These are in fact from Dark Pig. They're just kind of modded. They're kind uh, um, they're kind of from like Dark Pig and Buzzy. It's kind of like the old Dark Pig. Um, what was that? Hold on. Um, a random bullet just. Okay, the random nerf bolt just flew in here, but they have primings on the end. Which are easy to pull. It's from Busby or Dark Pig. Or well or looks in here, but these two pistols are awesome. They're also my favorite um zombie strike blasters. The double streak. Now you're saying, why is a, a, a pistol your favorite zombie strip blaster? Because it's awesome. It's, it's powerful. It has a long range. There's a tactical reel on the top. The priming. Get along with that. But there's two bullets. It's, and also, you can do this. Like, like a lot of nerf pistols, you can do that. Like, twirl it around. Like that. But anyways, I accidentally just took them out. Um, my favorite Mega Blaster is the Centurion, but my only Mega Blaster is the Big Shock. I don't have the Centurion yet, but I'll be getting it soon, but Centurion's awesome. Everyone knows that, and everyone knows why. But now for my favorite the skip anything. I believe not. Now for my favorite end strike elite blaster. Like I said, it's the rapid strike. Since I I'm doing one on the I'm doing them on the ones that I already have. I don't know why I did that with the Saturian then. But my favorite um end strike elite blaster that I have right now. Everyone should know what it is. It's it's cheap. It's awesome. It takes affordable batteries that people always have laying around their house. Yeah. And the reason why it's cheap is because it comes with the blaster itself, no attachments, so just a six start magazine. It's awesome. It's fully fully automatic. Almost fully automatic. If you know what you're doing. Um. Everyone knows what it is. It is yes. The strike, the nerf, and strike elite strike. This thing sounds awesome. This thing is awesome. There's almost nothing cooler than strike, except the nerf rapid strike and hyper fire and stuff. But um, this thing is awesome. It, it has um, burn attachment, back attachment, tactical rail on the top, tactical rail on the bottom. It's fully automatic. It's a good blaster. Um, awesome. Highly recommend you. If you do not have the strike, highly recommend you to buy it. It's awesome.
But anyways, that is it for the video. I also have the red see-through strong arm from the limited time uh, celebration. The see-through red strong arm um, right here. But yeah. Um, hope you guys had a good Easter. Um, good Easter and um, see you guys in a bit. And maybe a few days or two. No! Did I stop recording? Did I stop recording? Ah! Did I stop recording?